Yes! That's awesome! What? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom workspace so that it aligns with exactly what you want to do. So if you're opening Photoshop for the first time or you haven't made any changes to the essential default workspace, which remember you can find by going up to Window, Workspace, and see Essentials is auto check. And just to make sure you understand what these are, Photoshop is giving you some things that, like let's say I definitely just want to work on photography. It recustomizes the tools and your panels on this side for photography. If you wanted to go to Window Workspace and you say, oh, I want to focus on digital painting, notice how it changed the panels to brushes and swatches, and it changed the orientation of the tools on this side in order to give you access to the tools you're going to most, most commonly use for painting. And again, you can always go back to the essentials. This is the default workspace. So let's set up a custom workspace. I want to set up one for my general photography needs, which is a bit different than the one that they give you uh, right here. So here's how you do it. I'm not going to use the libraries panel for most of this work. So I'll click on these lines right here and I'll go to the very bottom and just say close tab group. That means it's going to close, even there's only one tab here, it's going to close that whole window, maximizing my digital real estate. I'm not going to use the color swatches, gradients, patterns. I'm not going to use any of that for my general Photoshop use. And just so you know, you don't have to keep this open. If you double click on your foreground or background swatch, it's going to open up the color picker for you. So that's just a double click away. So I'm going to hit those lines and go down to close tab group. Now we're getting much cleaner. Like I want a lot of space for my layers and my channels. I'll leave my paths. I do use those occasionally. But I want to separate my properties and adjustments. And remember, you can click and move these back and forth to orient them where you want. You can grab and pull it over here so that it's like a little mini icon. You can have it float in your window if, if that's what you want. And then hit that disclosure triangle to pull it out. Um, for me, I, t I typically like my adjustments to be at the very top. So do you see how, see that cyan line that appears? That tells you where it's going to dot. Now it's going to be inside the group. If I let go here, it's going to be in between. And if I don't like that, all I've got to do is grab the tab. And actually, I want mine above the properties. So I have my adjustments and then I have my properties immediately under it. And here's why. When I add an adjustment layer, my mouse is right here ready to make the adjustment. Hue and saturation right here ready to make the adjustment. So that's what I like. And here's how you save that workspace. You go to window, you go to workspace, and then you go down to new workspace and then name it whatever it is that you'll remember. And though I didn't set up any keyboard shortcuts, menu changes or toolbar changes, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these so that it will remember them in the future in case I had done something. Click save. Now here's the great part. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, it's all great. Back to the demo. Now, if you're ever doing something else, like let's say you're trying to experiment with some video editing. So you choose the motion workspace, which opens up the video timeline at the bottom and changes a few tools and your panel orientation. After you're done with that, you can go back to the custom workspace because it will always be on top, whatever you named it. I click it and it goes back to my ready to go favorite workspace. I hope that helped. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Yes! Go watch another video of mine. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I did. Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. <laughs>